If you're a Windows developer, you've used Microsoft Visual Studio. We'll use a Visual Studio instance in GCP to deploy an ASP.NET web application. In this demo, we'll create an ASP.NET application using Windows Virtual Machines provisioned using Google Compute Engine. For this demo, we've already created the Windows Virtual Machines that we'll need to build our application. First, I've created a Windows Server with Internet Information Services and ASP.NET already installed, making use of Google Cloud Launcher's ASP.NET solution. This machine also has Microsoft SQL Server installed on it, and we'll use this SQL Server as our back-end data store for our ASP.NET web application. I've created a second machine and installed Microsoft Visual Studio and Google Chrome onto the machine. This will be our developer machine. I'm going to connect to this machine using RDP. It's time to start coding. So here I am on the developer machine. I've launched Visual Studio, and now I'm going to create a new project using File, New, Project. In the New Project dialog, I've selected Visual C Sharp as my chosen programming language. And I'm also going to select ASP.NET Web Application as our chosen project template. I need to give that a good name. I want to use this project to record my favorite restaurants all around the world. So I'm going to call my new project Where to Eat. Now I click on OK. I've got a second choice of dialogue here, which is the style of ASP.NET Web Application to build. We're going to use the MVC template. Click on OK, and our project's going to be created. I paused the video briefly just while the project was created, and now it's ready. It's time for me to start coding. First, I'm going to add a model class to the models folder. Because I'm modeling where I want to eat, I'm going to call this class restaurant. Just increase the font size so that you can see exactly what's going on. I need to add some properties to this class. I'll start with the ID property. This will be an integer. We're going to use this to map each restaurant object against a record in the database using Entity Framework. I'll add some more properties for the restaurant name, city, cuisine, and price range. So I'll pause the video briefly there too while I added in the properties. You can see that for this demo, I've used string as the data type for name, city, cuisine, and price range. I could equally well have chosen something else, such as an enum, and that would work just fine. Now I need to add a second class, which is going to map our restaurants against the database table. This is going to make use of Entity Framework, so I'm going to call this class Feed Me Context. This class needs to inherit from a base class supplied by Entity Framework called dbcontext. But first I need to install Entity Framework into the project. I'm going to do this using the Package Manager console. There's a command called install package. I just pass through the name of the package, which is Entity Framework. Hit enter, and then Entity Framework is going to be installed. And now we're done. So let's inherit from our DB context base class supplied by Entity Framework. Just resolve the namespace, and we're done. The only thing we need to add to this class 
is a collection property which will expose a collection of restaurant objects. This makes use of a generic collection class called dbset. So you'll notice that now we've got a collection called restaurants, which is a DB set of restaurant objects. I'm going to build these two classes. This is necessary to enable the IntelliSense supplied by Visual Studio to scaffold out a controller class and a set of views which will use Razor syntax to complete our work. So I'll pause the video briefly there while the build took place. Now it's time to add the controller and views into our project. I can get Visual Studio to do this for me. So I'm going to right click on this controllers folder and select add and then controller. In the add scaffold dialog, if I select MVC5 controller with views using entity framework, then all I need to do is enter the model class and the data context class, and then click on add, Visual Studio will do the rest. So here's our restaurants controller class. You could definitely use this as a start point for a more full featured controller. Similarly, if we scroll down in Solution Explorer, you'll notice that we have a series of view files that have been added to a restaurants folder, and each of these makes use of the Razor syntax. So we can test out our new functionality by just debugging the project. So I paused the video just there, just while we waited for the application to start. You can see this is the home page for our ASP.NET MVC application. I'll add restaurants to the end, and this will take us to our new controller, the restaurants controller, together with the model and the views that we've created. Now we're on our new restaurants page. We can add a new restaurant just by filling in some data in the form. One of my favorite restaurants in London is Honey and Co. So let's put the information in there. Cuisine is Middle East and the price range is moderate. Click on create and our restaurant has been added to the list. So that's pretty good. The final step for this demo will be to publish our application from our development machine to the web server. As I've installed the Google Cloud Tools extension for Visual Studio, this is going to be pretty easy. All I need to do is to right click on the project and then select Publish to Google Cloud. We're publishing to a Compute Engine machine, so we can select that. 
and then we need to pick the VM instance. Well, our live application is going to run on our web server, and I've already got the credentials entered, so you can see they've been populated. I'm going to click Publish, and then the application is going to be published. So now our application's been published. Here it is running on Compute Engine. If we add restaurants to the end of the URL, then you'll notice we get the same results as we had before. We can add a restaurant. When I'm in New York City, I like to eat at the Momofuku Noodle Bar. You can see we've added a restaurant and it appears in the list. So that completes my demo. We've created a simple ASP.NET MVC application and published it to a Google Compute Engine VM on Google Cloud Platform.